another of the giant German battleships raised from its watery grave in Scarpa Flow, passes under the fourth bridge. She's the 25,000 ton dreadnought Kaiserin, with the men responsible for taking her safely to the yards at Rosyth, living in their cabins on her upturned keel. Her eventual breaking up will mean another year's employment for hundreds of men. Many famous Birmingham people go to Plymouth to watch Lady Austin Chamberlain name and launch the new cruiser HMS Birmingham. Another of the visitors is the wind, strong enough in fact to blow off Lady Chamberlain's hat. But what's a little thing like that on such an important occasion? And after that, Lady Chamberlain pushes the boat out. HMS Birmingham will be completed by the autumn of 1937, and she'll cost about one and a quarter million pounds. So here's good luck to her, and safe journeys over the oceans of the world. His Royal Highness the Duke of Connaught visits Winchester to inspect a detachment of the Rifle Brigade and the 60th Rifle. His Royal Highness, as Colonel-in-Chief of the Brigade, takes an unceasing interest in the welfare of the men. And today he has an individual word or two for each one of them, as he passes down the ranks before addressing the troops. And I wish to express my great approval of their excellent appearance on parade today. You, young riflemen, who I am addressing at the present moment, have joined a regiment which has a great historical record for its services to the country and to its sovereign. All along the valley of the Rhine, the harvest is on. The vineyards are being stripped of their rich fruit to make the wines that are drunk all over the world. So now Miss Rhineland says, come on, let the band play. <laughs> They say that the Rhine Valley is famous for its wine, women and song. Well, boys, it looks as if they're right. Each village sends its own contingent with its own band, its own music and its own particular brand of dances. your glasses and drink a toast to that most famous ruler of all, King Grape. <laughs>